hit the middle bar in front of you. Which one? <laughs> what will happen? Uh, you'll short all the batteries, cause a spark, and then probably catch us on fire. Oh, I, I welcome sweet death. <laughs> all right, guys. The one glove, this is not Michael Jackson time, although you have to excuse. <laughs> Here's what happened. Let me preface what happened. We've had a shit time on the dyno. We've had just fuel loss. Everything's just been weird. We just rewired the whole car, because let's be honest, everybody says Rob Dom's wiring sucks including Rob Dom. So we're all sitting there, fuel pressure's there, it just isn't flowing. Jared and I are just like all defeated, coming back, we got the new alternator, pump pressures, everything's so isolated, and Jared just randomly says, hey, what if you test two of the pumps at the same time? And so that got me thinking, check this out. That is the bottom of the surge tank. You guys know that is the FPR 1200. <laughs> this is the top of the surge tank. And that is a big win, one gallon water jug. <laughs> All right, hear me out. I Jared was in there editing and I was like, hey man, uh, can you come help me for a second? Unfortunately, the, those sort of happy fun times were not what he was gonna get. It was actually work. <laughs> in this case, my hypothesis was I'm gonna unplug the different power cord, you know, lines to the, these things and test them, but I couldn't see what was going on. I came back in all defeated. This is like what, three in the morning? Three, four. Yeah, three, four in the morning. In California time, Dino went horrible. Even though we still make 850 horsepower, that's horrible. I'm like, what if I could see? And we made a joke. We were like, what if I could see inside the wires? What if I could see inside the hoses? Or the actual cert tank itself. If we have the pressure, that means that we're able to hold the pressure, but we're not, no flow, or the flow fluctuates. Maybe the flow's not all going forward. Maybe some of it was coming backwards. That was my weird ass theory based on Jarrett saying, let's test it. Check this out. I've cranked up the fuel pressure regulator on purpose to absolute max. So what's going on is this line right here is basically being blocked at the fuel pressure regulator. My goal was pretend like we're at the 90 PSI or whatever it is when we start dropping off a of flow and see what happens inside the surge tank. All right, Jarrett. Long one or short one? Long one. All right, ready? Ready. You guys see that? That pump right in front of you just failed. It shot fuel out the top of it, which was exactly my theory. Let's see it from a different angle here. Go ahead, do it again. That is just fascinating. Those of you wondering my method to my madness, I unplugged the relay that pumps the lifter pump from the tank into this. So this is just a closed loop system going up to the fuel rails regulator and back. So all it's doing is up and back in. It's not overflowing and it's not doing anything like that. What you're seeing is the top of pump number two malfunctioning. My hope was if there's a one pump failed, well, they become a check valve. So fluid can't come back out them. I was like 800 horsepower, that's less than what two pumps could do. So something's failing more than just one pump. Well, one pump can fail so bad that it undoes the work of two of them. Jared wants to see it because he hasn't seen it with his own eyes yet. I haven't. Now this is only slightly dangerous because I have my lighter for, for uh, doing solder <laughs> and uh, heat shrink and we've got a battery source right there. We've got Jared who knows nothing. Just kidding, he actually solved the problem originally. So what you do is you pull it up to where the top of the, those pumps, that, that white part, is uh, exposed. You can have you can have it even as low as this, or as high as this. This has been days this on the dyno. Absolute team, man. I'm ready. Oh! Oh shit! Two of them did. For now, on our quest to a thousand, this thing takes a, a knee for a moment. We empty it out, pour the excess fuel into the water gallon jug, and then put it back into the tank because this stuff. Well, that's eleven dollars worth of fuel right here. He did the math. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Slightly over a gallon. Um, let's unplug the actual car. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. Where's uh, that one? this wrench? Yeah. This one? Yep. Don't hit the metal bar in front of you. Which one? Don't hit those. <laughs> what will happen? Uh, you'll short all the batteries, cause a spark, and then probably catch us both on fire. Oh, I, w I welcome sweet death. <laughs> do it. Just, just touch the two together. Oh God. You know what? You do, do this. It. No, do this it, is, bitch. This do is it, way bitch. too much. <laughs> this is death, guys. Yeah. This is, uh, that's how you learn dying. If this flies off. At worst, you can always be a bad example. <laughs> yeah, just don't let it touch the terminal. I'm going to hold it for a minute. 
I feel like I'm like defusing a bomb. <laughs> Am I in the green to remove this from the premises? Yes, at this point. Everything's covered in leaded fuel. I'm so dead. If I reduce my vocabulary as time goes on on this channel, it was self-inflicted. It wasn't from watching TV. It's from tetra lead chloride or whatever this, whatever that ingredient is in race fuel. Mm, smells good. Don't breathe. Let's uh, consolidate all the fuel. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Oh, such a mess. That'll go back in the gas tank though. This is one of the reasons why I want to move to 85. Yeah, cheaper, cool. It's three dollars a gallon, two dollars a gallon out here. It consumes more. The thing is, is that it's made out of corn. Ethanol is a lot better for the environment, I would say, because ethanol does not have uh, lead. That's what it doesn't have <laughs> in its list of ingredients. Once the surge tank gets fixed, three pumps will easily do 900 horsepower, 850 uh, at the wheels on ethanol, E85, minimum. So we'll just turn her to corn fed. I can actually go out and drive and then fill up and then race instead of being all fancy and having race gas in cans and paying $11. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to AI, figure out what their thoughts are on why the wall bros are failed and what to do about those. But to make sure we make it on time to hitting an insane amount of dyno, we've got such a beautiful alternator. We've got heavy duty wiring straight to the fuel pumps. We're gonna wire the built to apex hanger back in fully and hit those numbers. Maybe, <laughs> again, maybe this is the sixth time we've made that claim. 